Hello, it's Bonnie here from HEDS Rehab. Today I thought I would give a little talk um, about feet uh, with, on hypermobiles and issues with feet and things that might affect it. So a lot of us have what we call pronation, that's when the foot rolls in. So the ankle bone rolls in a bit like that and the foot gets really splayed flat. Um, and it can be quite hard to correct and it can and cause, cause pain and problems. So um, my personal experience is that I had these issues and I ended up with surgery on both feet, but particularly on my left foot because I lost my ability to dorsiflex. So I lost the ability for my ankle bone to do that. And uh, once I became a therapist, I really wanted to kind of work out why my ankles felt so blocked because I'm obviously very hypermobile and it didn't make sense that I had a loss of mobility. So when I started really looking at things, I um, had to stop looking at the foot funny enough. So when we look at a hypermobile person, most of the time, if this is your leg, we hyperextend our knees. So what happens with this long bone here, which is called your tibia, and you've got a little bone on the side, which is a fibula, but we're more, more concerned really about the tibia, is that when it goes back at the knee, and this is fixed, so I can't actually show it. When you go back at the knee, this bone actually pushes forward on the foot. And as a result of that, it pushes forward onto the bones and it creates a flattening of the foot. So by taking the knee back, you change the angle of this bone, it rocks and then it pushes down and it also rotates. So when we hyperextend our knees, we don't tend to do it with just straight knees, we tend to to um, rotate as well. So if I was to pull this back, you'll see what happens from the front. We tend to go into internal rotation and we tend to slide that bone forward. And you can see the impact. If I bring um, the camera a bit closer in, which I'm gonna um, do, you can absolutely see how that impacts the foot. All right, so we are getting a little bit closer view of this foot here and you can see right here again at what I was talking about, you've got this bone that's called the tibia. If I hyperextend my knee, it gets drawn forward and it pushes down on what's called the talus and it's going to draw that talus forward. So when we want to bend our foot or, or dorsiflex, those bones need to slide that way. But of course, we've created pressure down and forward. And so if you look here, we usually have a little bit of internal rotation. I do that and you can see that that's very much the shape that the hypermobile foot um, goes into. And you can also see how it's making that bone, how it spreads, that's called your navicular, drop. So a lot of times what happens, and this is what happened with me, is you go either to the doctor or the physiotherapist, they say, let's put an orthotic in or let's do um, foot exercises. But I haven't corrected this bone. So when I try and, and lift the instep up, I'm blocked because this bone is actually pushing my foot down. So when I start to rehabilitate and when I started to look at my own feet, I realized that what I needed to do was bring the knee back into better alignment and the hip so that we took the pressure off the foot. So what I'm gonna show you next is just a couple super simple exercises that you can do to try and align the tibial bone better over the foot. It may not instantly change the foot, but if you get that alignment correct, then it gives you the ability to then actually start to lift that instep back up because you haven't got that pressure pushing down.